Uh, hello, everyone. So this is another AMC 12 problem. So this was, a, I guess, number 13. So we have two equations, x squared plus y equals um, k squared and x, y equals k. And now we want to find how many integer values of k these graphs are actually not going to intersect. So you could do this problem a couple of different ways, maybe algebraically, maybe graphing. So I'll try using graphing approach, OK? So whenever you have like some like case, which is you have no idea about those case, maybe it's better to start with some like simple cases or some extreme cases, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this K as one first because this is the equation of the circle if you just recognize immediately. So I'll actually start with a unit circle where this K would be one first, okay? So let me, let me do that first. So if I do this, and that would be, let's say this is x-axis, and let's say this is the y. So what I'm trying to see, like how that looks like if I make actually some simple case, I can easily see. It. So that would be x squared plus y squared equals one. If I choose k as one, that means x, y has to be one as well, right? Um, if the k is one. So I'm just making that case. And you can just maybe choose k is four and see how that looks like. And, but I'm gonna go with this. And then this is a equation of the circle and this is the equation of the rational uh, function, right? So you can just write y equals like one over x. So that would be the case if I choose k as one. And you know, if you just plug values, you can see the graph or if you already know how to graph this uh, one. So that looks like it's gonna be this, right? So you will have let me try a bit better than that if I can. So it will be something like this. It will continue forever in those directions. And I will do the other one as well. So that will be something like this. So since I choose x, y equals one. So if I choose x is one, that will be y is also one. So that's unit circle. So this was one. This was one, this is negative one, one and negative one, right? So the the point that I chose, like that will be right here. So one comma one. And it will be same thing right here. So negative one comma negative one. So as you see, if k is one, the this graph and this circle do not intersect, which is nice because that's actually integer value. And since we do not have too many values as, as you see from the choices, so we can actually see, do we have another option like this, right? So maybe like this is gonna happen, you know, when the distance of this point, which is close to the origin, um, is gonna be larger than the radius of the circle. So which is my K. So if I connect this guy, something like this. So this is one, which is my unit circle, if I choose K, as one, so then if I make a right triangle, you know, this is gonna be one and one because we chose this guy as one. So the hypothesis is root two. So, you know, root two is larger than one. So that's why there shouldn't be any intersection because this root two is larger than one. So as you see it graphically, it's gonna be no intersection. Okay, so, but is there any other points like other than like, I mean, other ways to get, get this graph, there will be no intersection, right? So, you know, I choose K as one, but that's not the only case. You know, I can actually choose this X, Y equals K as like Y equals K over X, which means K could be anything. So if I choose K as negative one, your graph will not be this way and this way. So your graph will be something, let me write this way. So if you choose Y equals minus, one over X, okay, if you choose this guy, so your graph will be something similar to this. Okay, and then the other part of that graph will be right here. So, and then the same story that we did in the first case is gonna be with that uh, second graph as well, since um, this point is gonna be uh, like distance between the origin and to this point is larger than this radius. So that's also another uh, K value that will have no intersection, okay? So, so far we got two already. 
uh, k values as integer that will these two graph has no intersection, okay? So, but here's the thing, like how do I know this is only two? And then how that looks like if I make maybe more guesses, right? And how do I know there's only two, nothing more than that. So just look at some other option. Let's say you choose like k as zero, because I said, try extremes. If this is zero, you know, that will be x squared plus y equals zero. What does that mean? The radius of that circle is zero, which means you actually have a single point, which is at origin. So you will have a, just a single point, right? So if, if k is zero, then x squared plus y squared is zero. That is a single point, which is this guy. And then for this part, so x, y will be zero. So, you know, if the product is zero, so one of them has to be zero. If x is zero, then y could be anything. F, if x is zero, y could be anything, which means actually this is line. So this line and this point will have intersection. So which means if k is zero, there's intersection. Or if y is zero, x could be anything. So that means this line with this point. So there is a intersection. So as you see, if k is zero, which is just another like integer value, there will be intersection. So if, if k is four, you can actually go ahead and do that. If k is four, that will be the circle with radius of two, right? And you can actually see, you can make these like, or maybe I can draw it another one. And then that would be x, y equals four. And then if you just graph it, which is, I'm not gonna do it right now, but it's good for you to try. And there will be an intersection because the distance between uh, this graph to origin is gonna be larger, I mean, smaller than this between any point on that circle to the origin. So which is why there will be intersection if actually k is larger than like two or equal to two. So uh, without really using any tool like uh, graphing tools, then you can actually see that is only two solution uh, graphically. So, but at the same time, you know, I just did this way, so I, I got the answer, but if you like to see how the graph actually look like and when you change the case, I just have actually um, Desmos like graphing tool. So I'm gonna show you so you can actually see how that was look like, okay? So let me pull this. Okay, so this is my two graph, as you see, x plus like y squared x squared plus y squared k squared. And this is the case that I have, right? And if you make this k as like a bit smaller than that, you see, those are actually getting, not having any intersection. You see, the circle is gonna be a like point if you make it just zero, which is something without really having the this tool, you could actually say this was gonna happen based on the reason that I just did. So you have a like, line basically at zero. If you just do other way around, so you will have actually this, you know, if you just all the way to the negative one, you have this one, there is no intersection, right? Which was our second K value. But if you do lesser than that, so you see the lines actually intersect at negative two, which is really nice, right? And you could just algebraically like prove this as well if you want to, but if you make like lesser than that negative two, so you will see the intersection is actually gonna be more than one point. And it goes the same thing on the other direction. So that is why there will be only two integer values that you will have no intersection. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. This was the AMC 12 problem, okay? So thank you for watching. I'll see you in our next video, okay, bye.